So I've got two cases of the pipe. I've got a pipe where I have my hand over one end, and I've got a pipe where I don't have my hand over one end. So when I've got my hand over one end, then I'm pretty sure that what I'm going to have here is a node. Right? I'm not going to have any airflow there. And so at the other end, I'm only going to have an antinode. And if it's an antinode, then the fundamental standing wave is going to look like that, which would be a quarter of a wavelength. The other possibility is that I might have it being a node at the other end. In which case, what we've got is a half a wavelength across the length of that pipe, thereabouts. Okay, so what I do know is that when I take my hand away, I get a different sound. So I'm pretty sure that what we go to is something with an antinode at the other end. So the two possibilities are antinode to antinode, because I haven't really changed what's happening at the other end, or antinode to node. So I'm fairly comfortable with my guess about what's happening at this end. I'm fairly comfortable that if I got my hand over it, I should have a node there. That's just like holding a guitar string still, right? And if I'm changing something, and I am definitely changing something, because I can hear a change, then it must be going from closed to open at that point. So I'm happy with this side. So the real question is, what's happening over on this side? I'm not sure. So either it's open, and so we're going from that case to this case, or it's closed, in which case we're going from this case to this case. And so the real question is, which of these is happening? So in this first case, where, where we tap the hand and we get an antinode, then what's happening is we're going from a quarter of the wavelength fitting in our tube to half the wavelength fitting in our tube. And that means that the wavelength has halved. And if we've halved the wavelength, so if that goes down by a factor of two, then the frequency has to go up by a factor of two. So in this case, we, the frequency would double. And in the other case, where the hand that we're tapping is where we got a node, then in that case, it's also changing by a factor of two, but you'll notice it's going the other way. So in this case, we're going from there, where we've got half the wavelength fitting the tube, to there, only a quarter of the wavelength is fitting the tube. So in that case, the wavelength is doubling. And if the wavelength is doubling, then the frequency is halving. So in both cases, we've got a change by an octave because the frequency is either doubling or halving. But in one case, when we take the hand away, the frequency is going up. In the other case, when we take the hand away, the frequency is going down. So let's check to see which one it is. So that's a node. So is this going to be an antinode or a node? So if I go like, it definitely went up as I took the hand away. And what that means from our analysis, it means that the hand that I was banging, that place must have been an antinode. In other words, I was getting large movements of air exactly where I was hitting it, which makes sense. And indeed, this kind of antinode tends to happen at the open end, and a node tends to happen at the closed end.